I've driven by a few different water plants. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm Jeff Givens. I'm here with Chris Work, special guest Scott Miller, Jeff Spencer, hey guys, and Jerry Work, producer Jerry behind the camera throwing the peace sign. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so we're talking about water. It doesn't sound so exciting when you say it that way, though, does it? But I learned a lot. I'm really excited. Yeah. Y'all didn't know I as far as I would. <laughs> I, I assumed you were, Scott. I just I didn't realize how little I knew about how all this worked. <laughs> I'm just a good actor. And to be, be sure. fair, Jeff set the expectations pretty high. Yeah. He, yeah. he talked very highly. Well, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. He's a pretty good old fella. <laughs> yeah, we've well, been working with him for several years. He's worth, he's worth killing, is a pretty good one. That's good. Yeah. That's about it. That's right. Well, plus, y'all like to try to do a big family. Pretty much, yeah. We got a lot mean husbands and fathers in law or something. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people in law. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the way is it to let the call hangs with the them. Hetfield McCoy. Now, is that Ben Yeah. Oh, well, that is not Ben Yeah. He can charge you water. Y'all give me a call before it turns. Yeah. We get along very well. Yeah. Very, very pleased. Yes. Not to go into details, but the first time I ever met Tucker, I. she left the house and I told my wife, I said, she's the one he'll marry right there. And we became. Known Jeff for years. He mm -hmm. he used to do work for us at the Water Authority, and uh, spent some late nights with him. Yep. Uh, a few times doing some construction jobs, and uh, trying to beat the rain on a few things. But I've known him a long time, and I've gotten to really know him. And, and uh, I think a lot of it was good for him. Yeah, I feel the same. Yeah. Kind of romantic. Yeah. Yeah. In a non-prison <laughs> sort of way. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, the people wanted water and they didn't care either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't have any, you don't give a shit. <laughs> Try get it back out. Just get, get it. it here. Yeah. Hey, so I was wondering, Scott, um, I'm driven by a few different water plants, and sometimes I'll say, a lot of times they're like down below the road level. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I saw them, but I'll see these tanks, and they're, I don't know, 30, 40 feet diameter. And they're spinning the whole time. What what, what what are those agitators? Is that part of what the you talking about wastewater plants? I don't know. I just passed by a bunch of tanks spinning water. Is that part of the water authority? So so in the or it. I don't know, man. So, <laughs> I was like, I'll make sure it in my head. Not like, so so dreams. So what, yeah. Am I making this up? So, uh, the wastewater plants, you have these, you have these oxidation dishes, and they got big discs on them that turn, and they create air. You, you need the bugs, kind of like working a septic tank. You need okay. the bugs in there to, to eat up the food that's in there. Those bugs need air to live. So. Those oxidation dishes got those disc, discs on them, and they're spinning that water, and they're creating air, so the bu bugs can stay alive. They, they, so when you say bugs, you mean insects, like actual bugs. Actual bugs, yeah. And they're cleaning the water. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's talk. Well, about it's, a pro, it's a it's a it's a process. <laughs> <We're, we're fixing, laughs> they're solving. Yeah, you're fixing. How do you think about this all? Okay. Now you're fixing to get into a part that I can't answer a lot of questions oh, okay. intelligently because I'm not a treatment. I haven't been a treatment guy. I've been around it. Let's go high there. level then. So so you bring the wastewater in, and by wastewater we're talking about sewers. Any sewer, sewer. Yeah, we screen it. Get any. <laughs> Trash, any kind of trash, whatever, Garbage that we can get, that we can get out of it, out of it. It runs through a process, goes goes through an oxidation ditch where the air and the bugs work, and, and then it then it goes to clarifiers. What does that mean, clarifiers? So the clarifiers are sending this wastewater out, 
taking the water off the top. Yeah. And then it goes through a process after it goes through there, and then it then it's chlorinated to kill any bacteria. Okay. And then it's dechlorinated before it's discharged back into the creek. How do you dechlorinate? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. Chemical. It's a chemical called cat. Okay. And then those solids are sent in, and they're put in a press, and you press the water out of it as much as you can. We try to get you know, down to about 20% water, and then it goes through a conveyor, dumps out. We load it up in a truck, haul it to the landfill. All of the oh. solid waste. The solid waste, yeah. Why? So how much solid waste do you go through, like, I don't know, in a day or a week? Uh, Man, I'd, I'd have to... Are, are trucks to... running every day? Uh, our, our dump truck, he hauls about... It's a... It's a what's a normal-sized tri- triple-axle dump truck? About hauls, 12 yards. About 12 yards, so... Mm-hmm. He'll, he works four tens, so he'll haul, he don't have to haul four days a week, probably two to three, depending on the time, time of the year. But he's paid for four tens? Well, he works. He hauls oh, okay. everything. <laughs> <laughs> you have a CDL, I'll take you for the doctor. It's about myself. Yeah, so he probably hauls four loads a day, so so 12 loads a week. Okay. So, so what's so, 44 yards a week? Yeah. Something like that. <clears throat> cubic yards. Yeah. yeah. 40 yards, 60 cubic yards, probably somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay. Yeah. Now, in, but that's got to be the big things you're talking about, at least for us. We don't have any of these big. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm not ready to be a metro or somewhere. They may do some type of different treatment than what we do. Okay. They may aerate their water, too. Mm-hmm. You, know, you, can't aerate, you can't aerate yeah. this water to pull some organics out before you treat it. Okay. But we don't have to do that here. So. Mm-hmm. Well, just what he said, you know, I, I always call them agitators, <clears throat> but I was thinking sewers, same thing, you know, it's like they've always got something in there, you know, stirring that water, which I didn't realize it was to create air until you said that, you know, but that's what it's, but yeah, sewer treatment plants, they've always got them out there, you know, spinning or turning in some way, you know, to turn mm-hmm. the water. Hmm. That's interesting. What? So let's, I got, I'm thinking about these presses now. Are they underground, the presses? Oh, they're above ground. So they make belt presses, screw presses. We actually have a belt press at one plant and a screw press at, an, at another. The screw press is pretty new. We had not had it very long. It's working really good. And what does that mean by a screw press? Is it like a, like a cork screw? It screw means it. Yeah, pins it. Okay. Hmm. The belt press is it's, it's, it's just on a belt. It, it just goes through a process. You can, it's a cake. It makes a cake is what they call it. But you can put a rubber glove on, you know, wrap some of it up and you can make a big ball. If you could yeah. run through the dark, <laughs> so, yeah. you ride. Yeah. Wastewater is all biological. Wastewater treatment is all biological. Water treatment is chemistry. <laughs> Okay. okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. And so we what, what to very do, few very few chemicals in the in the in the wastewater treatment. Now you gotta have the bleach for the to kill bacteria. To kill, kill bacteria. bacteria. And but then you gotta have a capper for the dechlorination. And we're actually in the process of doing some UV so we won't have to use as much chemical. The UV ultraviolet light to kill the bacteria as well. Does it work? Yeah, we it's got one plant to scan right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's pretty cool. And we just approved our white glove treatments, fixing to go to UV. And then we're, doing, we're fixing to do some upgrade at our Jones Creek plant. Okay. We actually have some great reports. It's going to be UV in it, too. Yeah. Well, we still have it. costs a lot of money. Oh, I'm sure it does. Yeah. Well, and that, that kind of objected. Do you, your, your question was answered? I'm not asking so many yeah. questions. Well, I'm not <laughs> but that kind, of, that kind of goes into a question I had. Just thinking about, like, you know, those reports you get on, like, your water quality, mm-hmm. and they have these scores. And, yeah. And I look at it, and I'm like, you know, it, you know, water quality says this is all, you know, well and good and acceptable, and I assume it is. So my question is, though, so I guess that would alter this report by going to these UV treatments. Right so so that, the water quality report you're talking about is drinking water. Drinking water, water. right. Well, so, that's true. That's pumped back down. Yeah. It's pumped back down, yes. Yeah. 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 Those, uh, those water quality reports are all state mandated. We have, okay. And they, 
we have time frames we have to do all those in. I got you. And that's just so so we 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 sample monthly mm-hmm. uh all kinds of different things. Oh uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, it's it's I mean we we carry we catch we carry probably eighty bacteriological samples every month. Every month, yeah. Yeah. So not to mention everything else that that, that goes along with it. So that report is is the results of all, everything that we do all year long. I got you. Yeah. Okay. And that's another question I had. So that's state level and not federal level. So each state, well, I guess. EPA, the federal oh, okay. level. Well, yes, I it comes you. from EPA. Okay. Down to, <laughs> to the state down to the so so minimums are designated by the EPA. That's correct. And then from that point forward, you could either agree to that or you could go more stricter. You can't go loose. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could go stricter if, if we wanted to, but we don't get to agree to much. Yeah. They tell us what to do. What's this? Yeah. We got to do yeah. 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 So we get, grant, we get graded about every 18 months on the water side of things. And the wastewater we do too, but on the water side of things, they come down and they do what they call a sanitary survey. And they try, they, they try to come about every 18 months, and they go through every piece of paperwork, every document, every chart, everything with a fine-tooth comb. Yeah. And we get graded. And uh, we've actually made 100 a couple of times. I was going to say, didn't yeah. y'all get a warning here not long ago for, like, the best water in Tennessee? Or? Yeah, that was probably in, in uh, 2012. Well, I think we actually went to Washington and competed at the yeah. National Rural Water Association. Oh, Everybody, cool. they picked a winner and said, "Well, what place did y'all come in?" I said, "Well, second. They said, "Really?" I said, "Well, they don't, they don't tell you." No, they don't tell you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, yeah. Well, the fact that you're in Boston, that's a good sign. Yeah, yeah. 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 pour a big glass of water out of the tap, man. Yeah, so they, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And a lot of that sanitary survey dictates those water quality reports. Okay. I mean. Yeah. When we fix a leak, we have to we have to record what we did, chlorine residuals, time the main was down. I mean, it's it's they're they're pre, it's pretty it's pretty strict. Yeah. And on the wastewater side of things, we have to do the same thing, and they come in great as well. Now wastewater leaks, they don't really they don't keep up with that, but most most of your wastewater is is uh, you know overflows and different things that you have, and most everything's concentrated at the plant when they come in to I got you. Gotcha. I'm still stuck on this competition. So, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm asking in my mind, you know, there's like a judging panel with, you know, the guy with like the big nose. That's it. Like, and he's got the wine glass and he's with the testing the wine. Yeah. He's trying to shine the flashlight through it. It actually is. So, it's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's great. So, TAUD, Tennessee Association of Utility Districts, I spoke of earlier. Uh, they 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 have our state broken out into I think twelve regions. Okay, we're region nine. I'm actually the region leader of region nine, and I can name them all. But Dixon County, Cheatham County, Hickman County, Houston County, Stewart County, Humphreys County. There may be more, but anyway, Montgomery County. Oh. Uh, Actually, Carswell won in our region this year. Montgomery County did, but Carswell did win. So we just had our best taste of water contest back in March. And uh, so what they do is is you, you, do the, you do the contest for each region, and then the winner of each region competes against one another in August at one of our conferences. But, but to answer your, yes, you have three judges, and they check clarity. They call it bouquets. I, mean, they got, <laughs> I, got, I got little crackers out there that, that you can uh, readjust your palate with. Yeah. Wow. So, that's, that's amazing. So, this yeah. year, so this year, our judges, man, and I hate that I, I forget one of the judges' names. He's a he's actually a vendor. I, I, I had somebody else lined up and they couldn't come. But I had a, a district attorney general, Ray Crouch, was one of our judges. Okay, right yeah. And, I judge. Judge. Yeah. and then Leslie Shelton, which is the general sessions court. Was a good, okay, yeah. Which I'm her treasurer. She heard my wife. <laughs> they're they're, yeah. they're best friends, and her family and my family, we both from yeah. Charlotte. I'm sensing a conflict, yeah. 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 I believe. Yeah. 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 I slept in my 20, but we still ain't going. Yeah, I'm yeah. too cheap these days. Like, yeah. Yeah. Bad thing about it is, is I was looking for the restroom when they got done testing it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, what you don't want to hear is, you know, 
It's a little crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I didn't. It's sour. Yeah. 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 No, well, oh, I... Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I... Yeah. Gosh. Scott, I really appreciate you joining us. Yeah, man. I've been here. I've been here. I've been here. I've been here. I've learned so much about just, damn, our water supply and all this infrastructure works. I had no idea. And I guess, you know, I, my last question uh, would be, you know, in the summertime, my family and I, we spend a lot of time on Kentucky Lake, occasionally go up Lake Barkley. Would I get my markers for all those discharges? <laughs> hey, I've never been there. It's nothing to worry about. No. Crystal clear, clear water. No. I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, but, uh, well, guys, yeah, I guess we'll wrap this up. Scott, man, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Yeah, Thanks, man. Too. Thanks for coming. It was a pleasure. Jeff? Chris, nice to see you as always. Bit. Jeff, too. Nice to see you as always. I think I was like Jeff G, Jeff Spencer, but I just went with Jess and I. Producer yeah. Terry, thank you for your hard work behind the camera. Mm -hmm. Guys, look, uh, if you wouldn't mind, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave us a comment. I hope you found this as interesting as I did. And if you are in the construction industry and looking for a job bidding and costing solution, check us out. ProfitDig.com. Thank you for joining us. ProfitDig Construction Show. See you next time. See you guys. Okay. <laughs>